Greek mythology is full of wild and terrifying creatures, some of which were feared by the ancient Greeks. Hello people, welcome to Stories, Curiosities and Mysteries, today we will see the mythological beings of Greek mythology, some of which were feared by the ancient Greeks, but before starting, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell and leave a good me like, it will help me a lot to move forward, well, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1, Chimera, the Chimera is a mythical creature from Greek mythology described as a hybrid monster with various parts of different animals. The Chimera had the body of a lion, which gave it strength and aggressiveness. This leonine part represented her ferocity and power. On the back or back of her, she wore the head of a goat. This feature added to its monstrous and unique nature. At the end of its tail, it had the head of a dragon or snake. This dragon had often spat fire, making it even more fearsome and dangerous. The Chimera was said to live in Lycia, a region of ancient Asia Minor, and terrorize its inhabitants. She was known to devour cattle, shepherds and any being that got in her way. One of the most famous myths about the Chimera involves the Greek hero Bellerophon, who, riding the winged horse Pegasus, managed to defeat it by shooting flaming arrows into its throat thus managing to overcome its inner fire and eliminate it. Number 2, Lernaean Hydra, the Lernaean Hydra is a Greek mythological creature, a giant aquatic serpent with multiple heads, usually nine, although in some versions more are mentioned. It was one of the most feared and difficult to defeat creatures in Greek mythology. The Hydra had numerous heads, the main one being immortal and poisonous. When one head was cut off, two would grow in its place. The only way to defeat it was to cauterize the stumps before the heads could regenerate. The Lernaean Hydra had a poisonous breath capable of killing those who inhaled or touched it. The poison was deadly and extremely dangerous. The central head of the Hydra was immortal, making defeating it even more challenging. Hercules, in one of his labors, had the help of his nephew Iolaus to burn the stump and prevent its regeneration. The second of Hercules' twelve labors was to defeat the Hydra of Lerna, a task given by Eurystheus, king of Mycenae. With the help of his nephew Iolaus, Hercules managed to defeat the Hydra. During the fight, Hercules cut off the heads of the Hydra, but to prevent its regeneration, Iolaus burned the stumps with a torch. Finally, Hercules cut off the immortal head and buried it in a hole covered with a huge rock. He used the Hydra's blood to poison her arrows, which he would then use in future battles. Number 3, Cerberus, Cerberus, also known as Kerberos in Greek, is a mythological creature from Greek mythology, specifically a three-headed dog with a serpent's tail. He is one of the most well-known and fearsome figures in Greek mythology. Cerberus was the fierce guardian of the underworld, the realm of the dead, under the custody of Hades, the god of the underworld. Its main function was to prevent the spirits of the dead from leaving the underworld and, at the same time, to prevent the living from entering without permission. Cerberus complemented a role in one of the twelve labors of Hercules. As part of his testing, Hercules was sent to capture Cerberus and did so successfully. Although this was not a violent task, as Hercules managed to subdue the monster without hurting it. Number 4, Medusa, Medusa is one of the most famous creatures in Greek mythology, known for her terrifying appearance and her ability to turn those who looked at her into stone. Medusa was originally a beautiful woman, but after being cursed by Athena, her appearance changed. Her hair turned into snakes and her gaze had the power to turn anyone who looked directly at her into stone. Medusa was one of the three Gorgons, daughters of Phorcys and Ceto, primordial marine beings. Her sisters were Stheno and Euryale, but Medusa was the only mortal of the three. According to mythology, Medusa was a priestess of the Temple of Athena. However, she had a love affair with Poseidon in a Temple of Athena. As punishment, Athena transformed her beautiful hair into snakes and cursed her, giving her the ability to petrify those who looked at her. Medusa was beheaded by Perseus, who was sent on a mission to obtain her head as a gift to King Polydectes. Using her reflection in the polished bronze shield given to him by Athena and Hermes' winged sandals, Perseus was able to decapitate her without looking directly at her. 
After the death of Medusa, Pegasus, the winged horse, and Chrysor, a giant or armed hero, emerged from her neck. Number 5, Minotaur. The Minotaur is a Greek mythological creature famous for its appearance and its connection to the labyrinth. The Minotaur was a being that was half man, half bull. According to mythology, he was the son of King Minos of Crete and his wife Pasiphae. His creation was related to a divine curse. Pasiphae, Minos's wife, was bewitched by Poseidon or, in some accounts, Aphrodite to fall in love with a white bull. Wishing to hide her love for the bull, she disguised herself as a cow and appeared with him, giving rise to the Minotaur. King Minos ordered the construction of a labyrinth designed by the architect Daedalus to enclose the Minotaur. The labyrinth was a complicated design in which the creature was trapped, with no way to escape. As punishment for the death of his son, Androgus, at the hands of Athenians, Minos demanded an annual tribute of seven young men and seven maidens from Athens, who were thrown into the labyrinth to be devoured by the Minotaur. Theseus, the Athenian hero, volunteered as tribute and traveled to Crete. There, with the help of Ariadne, Minos' daughter, he managed to defeat the Minotaur and leave the labyrinth. Number 6, Sphinx. The Sphinx is a complex and enigmatic mythological creature that appears in various mythologies, being particularly prominent in Greek and Egyptian mythology. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx is depicted as a creature with the body of a lion, the wings of a bird, and a human head, although in some representations it may have a lion's head. Its most distinctive feature is its ability to pose riddles and enigmas. The Sphinx was associated with the city of Thebes in Greece. It was located near the entrance to the city and posed an enigma to travelers who wanted to pass through. The riddle he asked was, what creature has four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, and three legs in the afternoon? The answer is the human being, since he crawls as a child, walks as an adult and uses a cane in his old age. The Sphinx devoured those who could not solve its riddle. Oedipus, the hero of Greek mythology, was the first to solve the riddle of the Sphinx. After his victory, the Sphinx threw herself off a cliff and died. Number 7, Cyclops. Cyclops are mythological creatures present in Greek mythology. They are associated with giant beings and have a distinctive appearance that makes them recognizable. The Cyclopes were giants with only one eye and a large one in the center of their forehead. They were known for their physical strength and metalworking and construction skills. The Cyclopes were children of Uranus, the sky, and Gia, the earth. They were brothers of the Titans and also of the Hecatonchires, monsters with a hundred arms and fifty heads. In some myths, the Cyclopes helped the Olympian gods, especially Zeus. They contributed their skill in metallurgy and forged the lightning bolts of Zeus, the trident of Poseidon, and the helmet of invisibility of Hades. In other myths, the Cyclopes were imprisoned in Tartarus for their participation in the rebellion against the gods. They were locked away by Zeus after helping the Titans. Number 8, Harpies. Harpies are mythological creatures present in various traditions, but they are especially known in Greek and Roman mythology. The Harpies are represented combined as winged creatures with the body of a bird and the face of a woman. They are often described as having sharp claws and fangs. Her half-bird, half-woman appearance symbolizes the fusion of human and animal elements. The Harpies are daughters of Thamantes, the god of the winds, and Electra, one of the Pleiades. They were sisters of the winds and other creatures, like the horses that pulled the chariot of the god Helios. Harpies were known for stealing food and punishing those who committed immoral or evil acts. They were often considered messengers of divine punishment and were associated with storms and misfortunes. In Homer's Odyssey, the Harpies appear on the Windy Island, where they remove food from the hands of Odysseus's companions and prophesy difficulties for his journey. Number 9, Centaur. Centaurs are mythological creatures with a human upper part and a horse lower part. According to Greek mythology, centaurs were descendants of the sea god Poseidon and the nymph Philyra. They were conceived when Poseidon took the form of a horse and united with Philyra. Centaurs were known for their duality and the struggle between their human nature and their equine part. 
The upper part of a centaur's body was human, including the head, torso and arms, while the lower part was that of a horse. They had the strength and athletic ability of a horse combined with human intelligence and skill. Centaurs were considered savages and were often described as undisciplined and drunken creatures. They were known for their propensity for violence and were often involved in conflicts and battles, especially with other heroes and gods. A notable incident is the battle between the centaurs and the Lapiths during the wedding of King Pyrithoas, where the centaurs attempted to carry off the Lapith women, resulting in a fierce confrontation. Number 10, Lamia, the Lamia is a mythological creature that appears in various traditions and mythologies, although its most prominent representation comes from Greek and Roman mythology. In Greek mythology, the Lamia was originally a beautiful queen of Libya. However, after an encounter with the goddess Hera or, in some accounts, Zeus, she became a monstrous creature. She is represented with a woman's body up to her waist, and from there downwards, like a snake's body. The most common legend about the Lamia says that Hera cursed her after discovering that Zeus loved her. Hera condemned her to lose her children and become a monstrous child-devouring creature. As a result of this curse, the Lamia went crazy and began kidnapping and devouring children for revenge. The Lamia was feared by the ancient Greeks as a creature that stalked children to kidnap and devour them. It was often used by parents to scare children and keep them safe. And these were the mythological beings of Greek mythology, and you who believe, think that they are true or simple legends, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like, until next time.